In this video, we're going to show you how to use the various assignment methods in order to effectively assign section properties, materials, specifications, and loads to your particular model. Now you're going to notice in any of your dialogues where you need to make assignments, you're going to find your four different assignment methods. And it's good to get comfortable with these assignment methods as different methods might work for different scenarios. So let's go ahead and explore a few of these. The first one we're going to take a look at is assign to view. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our property or specification that we want to assign. And we're going to go ahead and say assign to view. We're going to finish this off by clicking assign and confirm the operation to yes. Now basically what assign to view does is it basically assigns that property or specification or whatever it is you're assigning to everything in the model. So everything that's a candidate for that particular item will get assigned that property. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next type of assignment method. And this time we're going to say use cursor to assign. So I'm, again, I'm going to begin by selecting the property I want to assign. I'm going to select the use cursor to assign button. And then I'm going to click the assign button down here. Now you're going to notice that this is going to change to an assigning mode, which basically means this is kind of an active modeling mode. And what I can do is I can just go around here and select the members I want to assign that property to. Once I'm done with that assignment, I need to come back here and turn that assigning mode off, basically to avoid assigning that property to anything else I click from here on out. And I can repeat that process if I have other types of sections I need to assign. Let's go ahead and take a look at use the edit list. Now I'm going to go to my keyboard and go shift B. And I'm going to basically turn on my different members. So I have member one, two, three, and four. Say I want to assign this property to my columns. So I can just go down to edit list. I could say one, two. We'll click assign and basically sections one to two. What if I want to assign it for members one, two, to three? Well, I can go one space two space three, click assign. And you're going to see you could also use the nomenclature one, two, three. Um, if you needed to. Lastly, let's go ahead and take a look at our last assignment method, which is to assign to selected beams. Now for this method, you're going to highlight the property you want to assign, and then you're going to highlight the members on your screen you want to assign it to. So I'm going to hold down my control key, and let's go ahead and select all of these members. I'm going to say assign to selected beams, and then we'll go ahead and click assign. Now, by using that assigned to selected beams, you're also going to be able to utilize any of these selection methods you have here. So I can say assign to members parallel to the Y direction, click assign, and it'll assign them to those particular members. Now, this is the quick and easy way to use the assignment methods for assigning properties. But you're also going to notice that these assignment methods are also available for things like specifications, supports, loading, and even your analysis and design commands. Now, you might notice in some of the dialogues that you have a toggle specification option as well. So here, for example, I've assigned member end fixities, say, for example, to my top members. And maybe I want to turn off this specification or basically remove this specification from some of the members it was assigned to. So in that sort of scenario, I can highlight the specification, click toggle specification, and then I'm going to click my assign button. And you can see that's an easy way to basically turn off that specification for a certain selection. Again, I'm going to come back here and turn on the assigning mode. Now, there are other times also when you want to highlight your geometry. So here for highlight, we can go ahead and select highlight assigned geometry, and that'll be also an easy way to verify our assignments. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.